48 hours ago, the UN did something they've never done before. An object from another star system, 3I Atlas, was officially designated as the target of a worldwide planetary defense drill. But there's a problem. Not all scientists agree on what this object really is. And the latest data released today makes the situation even more mysterious. In the last 48 hours between November 27th and 28th, there have been three significant developments regarding 3I Atlas that completely changed the story of this interstellar visitor. First, the United Nations has officially confirmed in writing that 3I Atlas has become the target of their global observation campaign. The International Asteroid Warning Network, the same organization that tracks potentially hazardous asteroids, is now conducting a planetary defense drill with a comet from another star system. Second, and this is a technical sensation, ESA's Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter have improved the orbital prediction of 3I Atlas by a factor of 10 times more precise. But here's the thing, this is the first time in history that measurement data from a spacecraft orbiting another planet has been accepted into the official database of the Minor Planet Center. Mars orbiters tracking an interstellar comet and making history in the process. The result? We now know with absolute certainty, on December 19th, 3I Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth 270 million kilometers away, roughly twice the distance to the sun. No danger, but precise enough to show this trajectory is remarkably precise. And third, here's where it gets controversial. Today, November 28th, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb published new data about the non-gravitational acceleration of 3I Atlas. Non-gravitational acceleration means the object isn't moving solely through the gravity of the sun and planets, something is giving it additional thrust. With normal comets, this is simple, outgassing jets. When ice melts, the gas jets create a recoil effect, like a firework. But Loeb's analysis shows the measured acceleration would mean for a normal comet that 3I Atlas would have had to lose more than 10% of its total mass in just two months. For an object weighing several billion tons, that's problematic. His conclusion, and I quote, Jets from technological thrusters could accelerate 3I Atlas with much less mass loss as they produce higher exhaust velocities. Before we continue, I know many of you are raising your eyebrows right now. Technological thrusters? Yes, Loeb is arguing exactly that, but NASA disagrees. Write in the comments who's right here. And if you enjoy these current controversies from astrophysics, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Let's take a step back. What is 3I Atlas actually? Discovered on July 1st, 2025 by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. The I stands for interstellar. The three means it's the third confirmed interstellar object ever to traverse our solar system. The first was Oumuamua in 2017. Remember? The cigar-shaped object where Loeb also argued it could be an alien light sail. The second was Comet Borisov in 2019. It looked like a normal comet, behaved like a normal comet. No controversy. But 3I Atlas, different from the start. Speed 250,000 kilometers per hour at solar approach, the highest ever measured for an object visiting our solar system. Size estimated four to five kilometers in diameter, larger than Oumuamua and Borisov combined. And then the composition. When the James Webb Space Telescope and large ground-based telescopes analyzed the spectra, they found something strange. The coma, the gas envelope around the comet, is unusually dominated by carbon dioxide, CO2, relatively little water, relatively little carbon monoxide, for a comet from our solar system, unusual, for an interstellar comet, we simply have no comparison data. So why is the UN conducting a defense drill with this object now? Officially, the campaign runs from November 27th, 2025, to January 27th, 2026, two months of intensive observation. Observatories worldwide are coordinated, from NASA to ESA, from professional telescopes to amateur astronomers. But here's the truth. 3I Atlas is not a threat, never even remotely on a collision course. The closest approach to Earth, 270 million kilometers in December. What the UN is really testing, the global infrastructure, the communication chains, the ability to quickly share data, calculate trajectories, and respond in a globally coordinated manner. Remember, if an asteroid is on a collision course with Earth, like 2024 YR4 earlier this year, we might have weeks, not months. The DART mission in 2022 showed we can deflect an asteroid, but can we also find it, track it, and coordinate the mission in time? 3I Atlas is the perfect test case. Fast, unpredictable, because it's interstellar. And here's where it gets interesting. 
possibly with non-gravitational forces that complicate orbital calculations. The IWN is using 3I Atlas as a training scenario for exactly the uncertainties that could arise in a real emergency. Back to the controversy. NASA's official position, published on November 28th, 3I Atlas is an interstellar comet, period. The observed features, coma, tail, outgassing, are consistent with a natural comet. The arguments, Hubble images from July 21st show a typical teardrop-shaped dust cloud. Stereo A observations in September-October show classic comet behavior. The spectra fit a very old comet from the thick disk of our Milky Way. But Harvard's Avi Loeb remains skeptical. His arguments updated today. The non-gravitational acceleration is statistically significant. 10 standard deviations. That's extremely high. That doesn't mean could be. That means definitely is there. The CO2 dominance is difficult to explain for a normal comet. And then, here Loeb gets speculative, the trajectory. It lies almost exactly in the plane of the planetary orbits. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, all in the same plane. Statistically, Loeb argues, unlikely for a random interstellar object. His hypothesis, if it's technological, not a comet, but a probe, such a trajectory would make sense. Maximum flybys of interesting planets. Let's be honest, the majority of the astronomical community is with NASA. Comets are weird. Interstellar comets are even weirder. We simply have no comparison data, but, and this is important, Loeb is not a crank. Harvard professor, serious papers, peer-reviewed. He might be wrong, but he's asking the right questions. And here's the beauty of science. We'll find out. More data is coming. JWST continues to observe. The UN campaign runs until January. Amateur astronomers with small telescopes are contributing. On December 19th, 3i Atlas will be closest to Earth, 270 million kilometers. Safe, but close enough for detailed observations. Then it leaves our solar system forever. At about 58 kilometers per second, in 8,000 years it will pierce through the Oort cloud and return to interstellar space. A visitor from an alien star, perhaps 7 billion years old, older than our sun. What has it seen? What star systems has it traversed? We'll never know. But for two months, November through January, we have the chance to study a guest from the depths of the galaxy. And perhaps, just perhaps, we'll learn not only about comets, but about ourselves, about our ability to work together, globally coordinated, one planet looking up at the sky. Write in the comments, NASA or Harvard, who do you believe and what do you think? Should we send a probe to an interstellar object before it's too late? If you enjoy these in-depth analyses of current space events, subscribe, hit the bell. Next week, we'll talk about the dark matter discovery. Thanks for watching. Until next